Hi, so thanks for joining us today, John. Um, so my name's Melissa, I work with n Education, and today we're joined by John, who is working with iTutor Group, um, and John would like to share a little bit of his knowledge on so, iTutor Group and working for them, but also um, how to support people with their interview preparation. So, John, just to start, what was it that made you want to teach online? Well, I had been teaching for a few years in classroom setting mm -hmm. and the ability to teach from the comfort of your own little office space uh, combined with the flexibility of the hours and the variety of the students you'd be teaching throughout just one single day was just too much to let pass. It was yeah. a really good opportunity. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so... Um, in terms of, sort of the application process, how, how easy did you find the application process for, for applying? Uh, you just fill in your details online. Uh, someone got back within, I think it was about two days, mm -hmm. had an interview and they gave me some materials to for a practice class during the interview. Mm -hmm. It was just a case of getting prepared. Okay, okay. So how, how did you prepare for that interview then? How, how did you go about preparing? I had to do a little bit unorthodox, as at the time I didn't have access to a printer. So um, I wanted to make some flashcards for the classes that were our demo sessions. So demo sessions. So I just got some markers, some A4 paper, and made some really crude flashcards. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yeah, it was just a case of looking over the materials, mm -hmm. thinking, what's the best way to get this across to several different levels? Because you don't know what level you'll be teaching at any given time. And you need to show that during the interview. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just think up some games. Like I had a couple of games drafted, didn't get the chance to use them, but it's good to have as a backup. <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely good to have a backup. And what about the main interview then um, that you did? Um, so how did you find that part of the interview? Uh, it was just a case of talking about past experience and in general what you could bring to the table as a tutor. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So quite a straightforward um, interview process there. Oh, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so thinking now then um, about, you know, sort of new people wanting to teach online, have you got any advice that you'd like to give somebody that was looking to teach online? Oh, yeah. So first things first, prepare for anything because you don't know what classes you're going to get during the day until at least an hour beforehand and you could end up with an adult class with three adults teaching complex grammar immediately followed by uh, essentially a baby class which is some a a a a a a b b b b b b and then you're jumping between all these different levels but once you get in the swing it's great fun just have Plenty of props. I'll show you my props. Actually. I've oh, got my, that's it, yeah. I've got my wee buddies here. These are for the younger kids. I've got my frog man. I've got my bear man. <laughs> they love that. <laughs> got my big box of balloons for the younger kids that go absolutely everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so um, def definitely a lot of props on hand then. Oh, yeah, it's handy because, again, young kids love colour. They love mm -hmm. just the interactiveness. Yeah. Whereas your older kids, teenagers, adults, you can just go straight to the meat of the lesson usually. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. So what, what have you enjoyed most about your role so far? Um, and you sound very excited about it. Um, so what, <laughs> what, what's the most enjoyable part? Uh, two things. Number one is just, again, the sheer variety of students that you come across. Um, like I've one student is a repeat student now, uh, seven years old, seven year old. You don't expect to be too high level. This one is the funniest kid that I've ever taught. And he's constantly, constantly filled with conversation and questions. Yeah. So, and then next lesson, it'll be a teenager who's really excited to talk about his sporting career. Mm -hmm. Next lesson, a young kid who's really shy and nervous, but you get them laughing and they start enjoying the lesson and it's just, ah, just that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, brilliant. That sounds fantastic. So what are you um, sort of most looking forward to sort of, you know, with your career uh, with iTunes Group there, what are you most looking forward to doing? Big thing for me is just building up this repertoire of repeat, uh, repeat clients. Mm -hmm. uh, the more clients you've got coming back to you again and again, you can help with their learning as you've got a much better idea of where they are. Yeah. And it shows that you're doing a good job. The more people want to come back to you. Mm -hmm. 
it means you must be doing something right. So that's yeah. really what I look forward to. <laughs> oh, brilliant, Kate. Okay. Well, it sounds like everything's going really positive for you there, John. So really, really happy for you. Um, and it has been absolutely wonderful chatting with you today. And I'm really hoping that, um, you know, your sort of inspiration there will really help some of our um, other candidates that are going through the process or even just people that are thinking about applying for an online teaching position. So thank you very much um, yes, for thank that. Thank you. Okay? All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.